Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, in the last episode, we built this Dodge SRT Hellcat, which looks absolutely stunning. Um, but today, in this episode, we're building this Dodge Viper GTS. Um, so hopefully, well, it's already built, which is the problem. I couldn't actually find a broken model, um, so I've settled with this one. Um, and what we are actually going to do is we're going to um, upgrade the engine like we did in the last video. I think we did it with that car. So um, we're going to move this over to the lifter. Uh, we'll go for lifter C. Why not? It's where all the tools are. Um, so on the screen at some point, uh, now I'll put on a picture that was sent to me on Twitter of this car that looks absolutely stunning and what we're gonna actually do is gonna try and do what they've done in this so um I'll put that out on the screen as well um but yeah hmm it's been a while it's been a while I'm not gonna lie um so what, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna actually take the engine out which requires us to remove the gearbox and also the starter motor so we take these two parts out. Uh, if you haven't seen me do um, car mechanic live streams, you should definitely check the live streams out. Because we've done loads of live streams since um, the last episode, but we haven't done many videos. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen any of the live streams, definitely go check them out. Because they are good. They are some good live streams. Um, actually, we don't need to take any of that out. Um, we should just be able to slide the engine out. Most cars, they let you take the engine out. Um, if the gearbox is just out. So, air filter base. Okay, that makes sense. Which is just here. There we go. That's the entire air filter system out. Oh, and drain the oil. It's a brand new car. Uh, here's the oil drain. The car is having a little wee. There we go. Uh, let's slot that back and let's pull this engine out. Take a good look. Right, so let's pull this engine out. Uh, pull it out. There we go. Lovely. Uh, and then chuck it onto our mount engine stand here. Uh, add engine. Which one will it be? It'll be this one, won't it? Yeah, it's this engine. Ooh, that does look good. Right, so what we're going to start off with, we're going to start by taking the entire engine apart. Looking for what parts we can upgrade. So we could definitely get some V10A fuel rails uh, and some V10A throttles. So let's take a look on the tuning shop, see if we've got any of them. Uh, we can also get ourselves a V10A air filter while we're at it. Uh, do we have V10A camshafts? Yes we do. Grab a couple of them for this. Um, yeah, so we're looking uh, for the fuel rails, which is here. We'll grab two of them. We're also looking for an intake manifold for a V10A. One of them. I'm guessing we can grab ten of these as well. Uh, V10, V10, V10. We don't have a V10A. Oh, no, we do. Just over here. That's decent. Right, let's take this out then. There we go. That's that all sorted. 
Um, oh, these are interesting. Uh, so we need to remove all these ignition coils. It's quite a lot of them actually for this engine. Ten of them to be exact because there's ten cylinders. Uh, let's take the engine head cover off. Take a look at this. See what's underneath. Ooh, not good. They are all valve push rods. Now these engines are always a nightmare. Ah, oh, we've got loads of these to pull out. There we go. A uh, couple more rocker arms. We'll take those out. And there we go, that's all our push rods out. Uh, let's take these spark plugs out. We can swap those out. And then we got our exhaust manifold to come out. And then the engine heads. So we're going to um, go up to the engine heads. We're not actually going to probably change the pistons. Actually, hang on. Could we? We could change the pistons. It is a possibility. Um, but it will take a while still. Oh, well. We have all the time in the world. There we go. Right, let's get rid of these. This is an insanely intricate engine. Right, time for the rocker arms again. Let's get rid of these. These are all at 100%, which is good. Because what that means is um, we, will, we won't have to buy any extra parts. They'll all already be there. We're just swapping out um, crappier parts for better parts. Push rods coming out. The fact is, this is a V10 engine, so I'm surprised it's built like a V8. Very surprised. Uh, here we go. Out they come. And that's all the push rods out. Uh, let's take these spark plugs out. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's that all been removed. Now what we can do is rotate this and see if we can look underneath. Remove the oil pan. See if we can actually remove just the pistons.
We can. This is good. Okay. Let's get these removed then. And swapped out for new ones. We can do it all as well without um, actually having to remove the crankshaft, which is pretty decent. Here we go. Um, I think we've got a couple more here to do. Here we go. Right, pistons are now out of the engine. Um, and then what we can do is we can then fit in our performance ones, which give us a, I think an extra 7%, something like that. Uh, they give us an extra 1.13. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want performance ones. <coughs> we can't have a lopsided engine. Here we go. Piston with Comrade. So altogether, that is an extra 11.3% horsepower, which is already a huge gap. If we've got a 500 horsepower engine, that's an extra 50. Bearing in mind the Dodge Viper is even more than that. It's like 600, 700 horsepower. So we're getting ourselves an extra around about 80 horsepower just from these pistons being swapped out. Which will also mean we will need some fatter tyres. Guaranteed. Because that much extra power already in a very loose car is going to cause huge problems for our grip. <coughs> so yeah, we are definitely going to need uh, thicker tyres. I would say we can't actually modify suspension, can we, in this? It has been a while since I played this. Right, so that is the pistons all sorted out with our performance models. Uh, now what we could do is take a look at the alternator and the power steering pump. Uh, power steering's down here, actually. No free space in inventory. Of course there's not. Let's sell those. We could get. Should be able to buy them now. What do you mean there's no free space? Let's get rid of these spark plugs then. Power steering pump. There we go. Right. Uh, first of all, we need to take these rollers off. Uh, then we can take the entire serpentine belt out. And it's just a case of removing this. And this. Uh, 
and installing our new ones. So we've got a performance alternator and our performance power steering pump. That's the wrong power steering pump. There we go. That one. Nice and shiny. Shiny and red. Right, so now if we take a look over here, we've got engine head B and engine head A, all for the V8A. So let's take a look, see if we've got actual engine heads. We probably should have done this first. B, V10A, A, V10A. There we go. Some nice shiny red parts in there. Right, uh, let's get our fuel rail in. And then our intake manifold. That's a nice black colour, that. There's so many bolts to put in. An extra 6% horsepower just by putting in upgraded throttles. Uh, so we're also looking for V10A exhaust manifolds. Um, here we go. Oh, no. That's the wrong box. There we go. Two of them. Chuck those into here. Uh, right, let's uh, swap over to the other side, get this part in. There we go, and our performance spark plugs on this side. There we go. Uh, right, let's put all our push rods and that in. These are the most annoying parts in any of these games, and I wish for Playway to remove them in the next game. I also want that Bugatti DLC so bad. There we go. Uh, right, rocker arms. Let's get these in. We've got 20 of these to fit. It's like a satisfying sound, just listening to like satisfying compilations. Right, so we gotta get our ignition coils, which are all the way down here actually. V10A ignition wires and then we also need actually I don't know which one we'll need so I'll just get all of them uh, and then we need 10 of these which gives us a huge boost in power
There we go. All the ignition coils are now in for that. So we plug in our ignition wires and put on the coil cover. And now we move over to this side and put in our valve push rods again. There are so many of these push rods, it's ridiculous. Right, rocker arms now, let's go. Here we go. Come on. We're nearly done. Time to plug all these ignition coils in. And next is, I think, just the wires and that's it. And that is our engine completely done. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to now take this off of here and we're going to place it straight back into the car. Uh, right, now what we need to do is lift the car up. We're going to actually swap out uh, a performance gearbox package kind of thing. Right, mount, let's put on, actually what we need to do first is we need to take the old stuff off. Here we go. Uh, right, flywheel. That's the wrong flywheel. That flywheel, there we go. Pressure plates, let's get these in. And then our release bearing goes in. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put a custom gearbox in as well. Which is the V10A. So we can tune it later on. And that is our car completely done. Now, I don't think we're going to have any form of performance upgrades for our exhaust system. Um, so we have a middle muffler and a rear muffler. It's worth a shot. Yeah, so we don't have any V10A uh, exhaust, so that is a bit of a disappointment. But what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, you know what? I'm not going to bother with tyres, because I want to give this a try. We're going to move this to the uh, dyno. Of course, you can't start the engine. There's no oil. Or starter motor. That's a good shout. There's no starter motor. Let's go back. Right. Uh, mount. Here we go. Starter. There's our starter motor in there. 
Uh, now let's move it to the dyno. No, still forgot the oil. One day I'll do this and I won't forget. Here we go, fill a cap. Fill it up, drink the oil. And that should be enough. There we go. Right. Uh, let's now, please this time go. Thank you. Right, let's start the dyno and see how... Wow. Why did no one remind me? Eight point four liter engine. Wow, that is insane actually. Right, proceed with the dyno test. So we started out with six hundred and forty five horsepower. Let's have a listen to this quite frankly horrible engine sound. You're joking. A thousand horsepower. One thousand horsepower in this car. Right, let's move you to the entrance. And we're going to give you a drive. Right, uh, speed track. Let's take it onto there. Um, we're taking the GTS today. I'm going to predict that it's going to do somewhere around a 1... Nought to 60 will probably be about 3 seconds, I'll say. If the car has any grip off the line, that is. No grip. No grip. No grip. Let's retry that. We've got more grip, but not enough grip. Oh dear. Hang on, let's see if we can get it to the other end. Holy shit, that's too much. Oh, that was sick though. Okay, so we've got a 0 to 60 of 5 seconds. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. But this is a nice car. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. Uh, if you want more car mechanics, leave those likes. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.